This is not a put money in the pocket of pharmacist bill. It is a consumer bill. State Senator Buddy Carter insists his Senate Bill 408 will help you save money when you shop at your local pharmacy. But the industry his bill is aimed at says the only ones who will save money are pharmacists. So we see it as something that helps the drug stores increase profit margins but hurts everybody else. The bill is complicated with language about pharmacy benefit managers and maximum allowable costs. Bottom line, Pharmacy benefit managers who administer prescription plans for insurance companies negotiate the price consumers will pay for certain drugs. Senator Carter's bill puts restrictions on when and what those benefit managers must do before they set that price. The bottom line, though, is that money is coming out of the pocket of the consumer. Mark Merritt is president of a pharmacy benefits manager trade association out of Washington. The only winner out of this is drugstores and those who own drugstores and, you know, people can make what they want out of that. So what's the problem? Competing industries battle over bills all the time here at the Capitol. The problem is this, say some. Senator Buddy Carter is also a pharmacist, owns three pharmacies. So should he be pushing this legislation? Is it fair to say that this bill would benefit pharmacists? I don't think it would be fair to say it would benefit us. I think it would be fair to say that it would be more of a level playing field for us in pharmacy and, and, and ultimately well that you know depending on your definition of a benefit. Senator Carter is running for Congress in the first district. He says the bill is all about fairness and helping consumers. He admits someone other than a pharmacist probably should have authored the bill. Ideally, we would have liked someone else to carry it, and we would have, but because of the rush of this session and because it was getting close, as I mentioned earlier, to the deadline, I decided to drop it. Senate rules clearly state senators and Senate staff shall refrain from using government positions to attain personal financial gain. Well, I think we see a conflict of interest. Ryan Splitlog with government watchdog group Common Cause reviewed the bill and Senate rules for us. I think it raises the public's eyebrows. I think when, if you were to ask someone, is it okay for you know, a pharmacist to be carrying legislation that will ultimately bring more money to his profession, I think that definitely is a cause for concern. Senate rules also say no senator should vote on any issue if he or his family has a direct financial interest. Senator Carter said he would vote on his bill. Obviously, it, it's, it's borderline, and it, but you know this is not going to benefit me financially. This is going to, again, this is going to benefit the consumer. So at the end of the day, would the senator do it again? If I had it to do over again, I'm not sure I would, but nevertheless, I did, and, and I stand by it.